What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today I really wanted to sit down and talk about how I stopped breastfeeding. I think there are so many videos out there on how to breastfeed, what you need to breastfeed, and not a lot of people talk about how to stop. I recently just weaned my 11 month old and when I was looking on the internet for how to's or advice or anything like that, the only thing I could really find were more gauged to toward either really young babies or older toddlers that were still breastfeeding, not really for that middle ground. That And I wanted to sit down and make a video of realistic, just like how it really went, what my tips are, how I, how I went about it, and hopefully this can help you uh, if you are also trying to stop breastfeeding and switch your baby to like regular old milk. So my son actually turns one in like three weeks. I started the weaning process basically because I was really done. I wanted him to be done breastfeeding by the time he was one or just after. So my first tip would be to set a goal and try to stick to it. Set a date. So, uh, that way you have an uh. I want to be done by the 12th or something like that because it gives you a set date and then you know actually what you're working towards. So how I went about this is uh, I wanted to try to wean him as quickly as possible, but also uh, not having him suffer. So that kind of leads me right into my next thing. Uh, by one years old, your baby doesn't need the formula or need the breast milk anymore. I'll, especially for my son, nursing was more of a comfort for him because I noticed that if I could offer him something else, he nine times out of 10 would take it. It was just more of a actually getting him to take it was the issue. So all babies have different signs uh, or ways to tell you that they want to nurse. My son would grab at my shirt and pull. Um, he, if I was standing, he would try to like yank on my pants, try to get me to pick him up. And then he would pull out my shirt and kind of be like, yo, I'm hungry. So when he would do that, I would offer him something else. I would offer him something else to drink. So my big thing was I kept trying to give him a regular old sippy and he wouldn't take it. He didn't know what to do with it. He was really confused by it. So I was trying different kinds of sippies, one with straws, conventional sippy cups, and he, he just wasn't getting anything out of it. So then I would have to nurse him. So what I ended up doing is just getting regular old plastic cups that uh, my older kids drink out of. I would fill it with water and just dump it into his mouth and that's how I started getting him to uh, take something other than breast milk. I would fill this, I started with just water and if I couldn't get him to take just the water, I would put a little dash of like apple juice or something in it and really dilute it down with a ton of water and then he was more apt to drink it. So after a couple days, I'd say probably about a week of just constantly offering him water instead of nursing he finally understood the use of a cup then i decided one day i was going to give him a different sippy cup to see how he reacted to the sippy so this is the sippy i ended up giving him and how i figured would be best to feed him was to hold him like i was going to nurse him and then just plop the plop the sippy in his mouth and feed him kind of like it was a bottle um, that way his head was tilted back, the cup was up, I knew that, that the milk was going to come down into his mouth, right? That's just gravity. <laughs> Once he realized that was happening, then he began to suck. He realized that, oh, this is how I'm going to get milk. And hence, my biggest problem was solved because he just didn't understand the use of a cup before. So now I didn't have to like physically get him to drink anymore. I could just hand him this and uh, he understood how that worked. So after about a week of this cup, I transitioned him to this and held him like I was gonna nurse him and instead of putting my boob in his mouth, I gave him a sippy. Bam, there you go. We moved to this. After a couple days of just giving him milk, I realized he didn't always want milk. Sometimes he just wanted water. He was just thirsty, right? I think, especially I overthought weaning him. I was like, he has to drink milk, he has to drink milk. No, he doesn't. You know, he, at that point, at that point, babies don't need milk anymore. You can transition them to other other liquids. So I would just give him water and I ended up putting water in a different cup. I'll show you that here. I ended up giving him water in one of these munchkin cups. This is the one with the straw on top. 
So then whenever he would sing signal me trying to get me to nurse him I would offer him the cup with milk or the cup with water and most times he ended up choosing the water um, so I got him another cup like this just yesterday. So that's how I did things. Um, once he realized that if he sucked, he would get whatever the whatever had in the cup. Um, he would be able to drink. That's when I transitioned him to this cup. So now he understands that if he sucks, he gets it. So it was pretty easy to transition him um, from cup to cup. Basically, when I knew I was going to start transitioning him, I went to the store and got a handful of different cups. Um, I researched online what was best for transitioning a baby, like a breastfed baby, to um, a normal cup. A lot of people recommended those zero gravity cups. Uh, Colt didn't like that. That's what I had initially gotten for him and he didn't understand it. That's why I ended up just giving him like a normal cup like this. And then basically over the next couple of days, I just slowly would start cutting back the amount of times I fed him. In the beginning when I started the process, Colt was nursing like 11 to 12 times a day, um, like within 24 hour period, which is quite a lot for an 11 month old. So I would just start telling him no. <laughs> that was kind of the hardest part is he would ask and I would tell him no. Um, I would offer him a cup or a snack. That was That is the biggest tip I think I can give you is offer a snack. A lot of the times, if they don't want they don't want a drink they just want a snack so i would say have plenty of snacks on hand that you know your baby likes colt loves fruit snacks i went through a whole big box of fruit snacks in about a week he loves string cheese i went through a lot of string cheese so i would just offer him something else and a lot of times he would take it he would he would cry and fuss for a minute or two but then you know he was all good so i think the hardest part is saying no and then sticking to it you can't tell your kid no and then be like oh i'm gonna give in and just nurse him because that's not gonna do anything so i would say set a date you want to be done by cut out one or two feeds a day if you can and start with the easiest feeds to cut out so i started cutting out those like random middle of the day feeds where he wasn't really actually eating he was just taking a drink and instead of giving him like nursing him i would offer a cup and a lot of the times he would take it so over the course of like three days i went from nursing him 11 to 12 times a day to nursing him none so i would say just stick to your ground set a date you want to be done by offer a ton of snacks and nine times out of ten that definitely works so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this helped give you a little bit of insight i would just say prepare yourself for the tears prepare yourself for the cries because it's definitely going to happen but you can be okay just get through it he's going to cry your baby is not suffering he's not like you're not hurting him it'll be okay and uh, I would just say stick to your guns and prepare yourself mentally for some tears because they're definitely gonna come, maybe from you too, but you can do it, you'll get through it, and uh, your baby's gonna be okay. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another vlog with video. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing